S22 Plus or S22 Ultra. Jumping right into this, I have to say the S22 Plus has the best build of the S22 bunch with its soft rounded corners making it a joy to hold in the hand, whereas the same cannot be said for the curved, sharp daggered edges of the S22 Ultra. Long term use of the S22 Ultra brings out those hand cramps of death wishing you opted for the plus over the latter. Watching content though on both of these displays regardless of the curved edges is bright and beautiful, no complaints there. Camera arrays differ quite a bit with the S22 Ultra packing the crazy creeper zoom with its dust collecting design, while the S22 Plus opted for the more subtle recycled design of last year's S21 series. Both of these feel incredibly premium, S22 Plus users have no worries here this year as the back is glass versus last year's plastic, making it a great contender when deciding for that premium look and feel, saving some cash from going full out ultra. For both the S22 Plus and the Ultra, I use the same setup with both of these devices to keep my usage the same. Battery wise, they're both decent but aren't amazing, averaging about five to seven hours of on-screen time depending on on the day. With 45 watt fast charging you can quickly top off both of these and go about your day, though you'll have to pay for that brick yourself as it doesn't come included in the box. Daily use is very similar on these devices, it's worth noting in my everyday they perform the same without hiccups or lag, no concerns at all for daily performance. One difference is the speaker setup. Speakers on the S22 Plus were always more clear as I constantly covered the bottom speaker of the S22 Ultra even in various orientations. Also, I have to love how Samsung put the mic cutout right next to the S22 Ultra's SIM ejector, you've been warned. Size wise though, the S22 Ultra being larger, the weight isn't actually that different between the two. They're actually really close in weight. When it comes to both of these color options, what do you think though? Let me know in the comments down below and while you're there, hit that subscribe button thanks in advance. Camera wise, I'm sure you've seen comparisons and samples on other channels by now. Personally, they look about the same as photos from last year's S21 Ultra or Note 20 Plus with very minimal differences in my usage so far. Shutter lag also still plagues both of these devices, so photos of any movement, kids or pets for example, are just a no-go with the quality suffering greatly. Get a Pixel or an iPhone if you have kids or pets that you're fond of taking photos of. Speaking of the iPhone, the S22 Plus is the closest Samsung has come to the design of the iPhone. Comparing the S22 Plus to both the 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 13, they are both very similar designs. I think if anyone is looking to jump ship or maybe looking for an Android as close to the design of the iPhone, the S22 Plus is the way to go. The rounded edges, the weight distribution, the premium feel, and just the daily use is so close. Putting each in my pocket, there were times I easily mixed the two up. They're just that similar. Okay, so using the S22 Ultra and the S22 Plus daily the last few days, I've never been more torn between two devices. Both offer many pros and have their cons. While I love the rounded edges and the flat display of the S22 Plus, I'm left a bit bored and well sad that Samsung opted to not include cool features like the zoom or the same larger 5000 mAh battery found on the Ultra. I just constantly find myself wanting more out of this device. The S22 Ultra, while I hate curved displays with a passion, it is a bright and beautiful panel to consume media or play games on. There's also the S Pen which is a nice to have when you need it, though not totally a necessity for me in my daily use. Many will find it a useful addition and many may have a bit of FOMO going for the plus not having that S Pen when the use does arise. I think overall I'm personally going to stick with the S22 Ultra, not because it's the best of the two as I find them to be quite equal with the Plus actually edging out in many areas, but because I know long term the S22 Ultra will not only hold better value, but trade in value for the next round of Samsung devices. Now personally I cannot recommend either of these devices to anyone if you have a S21 Ultra or even a Note 20 Ultra. Both of those devices are still excellent and in many ways the S21 Ultra is better than either of these new S22 series devices. However, if you have a S8 or maybe an older Note, then sure, this may be the series for you to upgrade to. What are your thoughts? Did you pick one up? Still debating? Let's chat about it in the comments down below. I'm waiting for the day one update to come to the Ultra before I do any camera comparisons or anything else. Let me know in the comments down below though your thoughts, any questions you have. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.